Hey guys, it's Rigby Takahashi, and welcome back to Surgery Squad. Now, in this one, we're doing a gallbladder surgery. So, uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Before you scrub in... Okay, let's go. Let's get scrubbed in there. Scrub clean like Mr. Clean. Oh, yes. This isn't Mr. Clean. This is a Tide ad. Not sponsored. <laughs> okay, who? What, what are we doing? Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual laparoscopic You're new. cholecystectomy. I'm Dr. Susie. Do hey, that's what I named my patient. Today. Oh, I'm going to have to change my your patient's name. Your gallbladder is basically a place that stores Hello, blood Dr. Susie. by your liver. As your body digests fat, your gallbladder pushes bile into the common bile duct, down to your small intestine, to help oh. digest them. Gallstones form when the Ugh, bile hardens yeah, into small suck. pieces that block the common bile duct. These stones can consist of calcium, blood, and cholesterol, and oh. they can cause moderate to severe pain, <laughs> along with nausea and or vomiting. Yeah, that's when not good. Happens, it is called a gallbladder attack. No, instead of a heart attack, it's a gallbladder attack. There are two types, open gallbladder surgery oh. and laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Oh, Jesus. Open gallbladder surgery involves one large incision and removal of the gallbladder. Oh. It is performed when the laparoscopic method is not possible. Or yeah. when complications or too much scarring from previous surgeries are found. Or when the Ow. patient's blood won't clot well. This type of surgery causes more pain and longer recuperation time. Then why would you do it? Laparoscopic <laughs> cholecystectomy, however, is the most common and often the best method to remove a gallbladder. It is where the gallbladder is removed through several small cuts. In Ow! The the surgery is safe, and folks who have it normally recover within one week. Ooh. There are a number of benefits to having laparoscopic More than 500,000 people them, undergo gallstone surgery a year. In cases. It eliminates Jeez! Oh, 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 that and makes me superstitious. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. However, if you have your gallbladder removed, you might experience chronic diarrhea. Oh, <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Those Taco Bell tacos get you. And rare but intense abdominal pain. I thought that the said rare. Oh! From pretty severe gallstone pain. <laughs> you um. Oh, you you you're a you're a character, all our right. Oh. Already under general anesthesia, thanks to our nurses and anesthesiologists. Is that your belly button? We're going to make four small incisions, one right below the belly button, ah. and three others right over the abdomen. Ooh First, we'll disinfect the area where we're going to make our first incision. Dr. Jeff's iodine. I knew Dr. Jeff was going to be somewhere. Mm. Okay, Susie. Now I'm going to call you Gerald. Are you ready for this, Gerald? Oh, I can get you cleaned up nice and good. Okay. Good. Now take your scalpel and make a small incision right below his belly button. Oh, uh, oh no! Ooh. <laughs> nice and clean. We've got to see where we're going, so we'll first inflate his abdomen with a little carbon dioxide to have some room to work. Oh, why? Oh, you gonna blow him up like a Just balloon? Like now we'll use this laparoscopic camera to help us see where we're going. Okay. We'll watch our monitor as we go. Shove that right steady. up in there. Oh. You're doing a great job. And there it is. Oh. I'll take care of the other incisions for our laparoscopic tools. Eesh. Now that all of the trocars are in place, can you move the liver out of the way using the clamp so we can get to the gallbladder? Oh, that's that. That looks very unsafe. Drag the clamp. Oh, 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 oh. Excellent work. Oh, we have oh, of work now. oh. Before that's gross. Into the that's real we'll gross. Need to clamp off the bile duct in three locations. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, ow! Are you just stapling his gallbladder? Oh. Great. Now use the scissors to sever it. <laughs> okay, snip, I'll snip. I'll in place while you work to cut it from the liver. We'll use an electrocautery device to <laughs> it 
Okay, I'm going to just cut this off now. Fantastic. Looks like you've done this before. No, I haven't, Dr. Susie, I haven't. Oh, don't you get that thing near me. Oh, that looks like alien. Oh! Our scope shows that everything's clean. We've removed the gas, so let's close him up and get him to a- That's it! How? That's literally all they do. Our patient is now in That is not the guy I operated on. <laughs> we'll send him home when he's able to He's like, hey guys, look at look at this. I got holes in me. I'm doing great. He'll probably have a small Ew. amount of diarrhea, and his doctor will probably have him on a special diet to follow for a few days. Just a little bit of diarrhea. <laughs> after a couple days of taking it easy. And that's how we perform a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. You did a great job. Uh, well, well, here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries. Here on SurgerySquad.com. Virtual root canal surgery. Oh, God. Oh, teeth whitening. I did the braces. Maybe I'll do the teeth whitening in the next episode. But thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, boop the like button. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye.